Oh, uh, this is a game called Creepy Pasta Break. Another stupid game that I think has some really crappy English. No, not as bad as the other one, sadly. Also, can't maximize it properly. I mean, I maximize it, but the screen is this tiny thing still in the center of big black bars, so it's kind of hard to see. Also, for some reason, it came with a save game. Not, not sure why. But, okay. Anyway, let's be annoyed. Once there was a town, that town was haunted by a demon known as, known as Zalgo. Buildings have fallen, people had died because of Zalgo and his comrades. See, it's kind of bad English, but kind of not. So, something tells me this was not a translation, but someone who was okay at English. Zalgo had allies with him, such as Tails Doll, Ben, SCP-173, Creepy Bot, and so many more. Only heard of two of them, and that's because of the other game. <laughs> Zago is doing this because to take over the town. But that wasn't enough for him. He wanted to take more and more town. So, he... He wants to... He only took over part of the town? Even outside the country. <laughs> he wants world domination. Zago is now trying to take over the entire world. You kind of just said that. After that, the people who has been in Zalgo's rule must obey him or else they will be killed. He is a true monster along with Sonic EXE. But there is a team called the Anti-Creepypasta to stop Zalgo and his god. Before we start, what's your name? Uh, I don't know. Oh god, I hate it when I have to use the stick to control RPGs. Not very, very, um, intuitive because it bounces diagonal if you hit it slightly off center. Like, it, like that. Uh, oh, there we go. Great, now let's start. Let's without an apostrophe. Yeah. Why is there a door just right there? Isn't it great? We moved into a new house. Uh, is that what these all are going to be like? Don't worry, this house is better than the last. Yeah, it seems like it's just a door. Is the door open? Is that what it is? And, okay, the mother disappeared. Can't leave. Something tells me this isn't going to look very good. Oh boy. That is not a good background. Also, why is there a waterfall in what I'm assuming is the house? I, I guess... I guess whoever did this didn't know how to, like, actually build walls and stuff, so that door would make sense. And also a door that's not... that's actually sideways instead of... Okay, I'm guessing this is someone's first attempt at RPG Maker. Because, yeah, that, that back, that tile set is, it hurts. It, it actually kind of hurts my eyes. And seriously, walls, please. Locked. Also, for some reason, the X button on my controller is the interaction button instead of the A button. Oh, an open treasure chest. Something tells me it's not actually open. <laughs> Instead of opening it, <laughs> instead of opening it, we close it. Do not go to TV and enter one two three four five off on five two three one four. Channel six will be awaken. Ben, pardon me. What? Um. Okay. I'm guessing the TV is this thing. So let's just go do it. What the hell? I'm not. T that's a bed. Uh. What did it just turn into? What is that? I, I don't see a bed in any... Either of these sprites. That must have been a mistake. Bunch of books. 
YouTube.com. Oh, there's not a random creepypasta or YouTube person I don't know referenced. So this, I guess that kind of looks like a TV with something next to it, maybe? Oh. Um, what the shit did it just do? <laughs> okay, yeah, I really hope this is someone's first time using RPG Maker because it's... Wow. Sure, let's channel six. Oh, that's nice. You shouldn't have done that. At least that treasure chest is closed. Do you want to use... No, let's poke around for a second. The Hangman. Game... Game over? Excuse me? What? Um... That was a bookcase. Why... Oh my god. Well, I guess I have to start over because I didn't save it because I didn't think looking at a bookcase would kill me. Ah... Uh, I don't care if my name is anyway. But yeah, the bookcase killed me by yelling at me, I'm guessing. That's what I'm assuming it did. I wish there were like a... I wish I could fast forward like on an emulator. Alright, let's go. Can I... Oh, sweet, I can sprint. That's at least somewhat useful. Okay, I'll get back to the chest. Back to the questionable looking tiles from the TV. A sprite for the TV. Alright. Oh. Seriously? Oh, there we go. For some reason the menu wasn't open. Oh, it's the B button? <laughs> Interact is X and menu is B. That's interesting. Saving over whatever that is. So I'm guessing this is once again meaningless because there's probably not fights. I just don't think they have anything. Well, he has casual clothes. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Alright, let's not look at the bookcase. Let's look at the treasure chest. Do you want to turn this back to normal? Yes? Oh. Okay, I don't know why the treasure chest did that. Now let's go back to this. Ignore the bookcase. Let's check the bed. I'm not tired. The bed's fine, but the bookcase is evil. Let's use the computer. YouTube.com Marine Man Guard West Door has attacked. Um. Excuse me? I don't know what's going on. I'm going to leave now because things kill me and they don't make sense. Oh look, a treasure chest. I have a feeling this will kill me. Oh boy, that's... This game is not very well planned. You found a picture, but it's only a quarter. I'm assuming a quarter of the picture and not a picture of a quarter. And I can just keep picking it up and maybe I can get all four pieces just out of this one... One treasure chest? It's not working? Buried Alive 1. Creepy Pokemon boss, Lavender Town. It's apparently a thing I don't know anything about, but whatever. Still locked. Go outside. Okay. Now there's a door in the middle of the road. Oh, hey, sorry I left you in the house alone. I had special occasions to do. <laughs> Why don't you explore the town? Oh, now there's a door to town. And... Okay, let's... Oh, boy. Okay, whoever designed this didn't know you could... You didn't have to have everything on one square block. <laughs> oh, God. 
And really, way to utilize all that space. Oh, hi, I'm Eric. I just moved in. Wow, you also moved in today? Wow. That's awesome. I want to join your party. Uh, that's, yeah, that's normal, normal. That's totally normal. Whenever you want to hang out with someone, you always say, I want to join your party. Anyway, let's go in this house. Which... Oh, boy. No door there? That's interesting. You found a picture, but it's only a quarter. Again. What? Buried alive, too. It's the same thing, except another part of it, I guess. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm sure this is safe. And not totally going to kill me in, just by looking at it. Hey, I found a CD at my house. At my last house. It was named Sonic EXE. I was happy because I have a real Sonic game and because I'm a fan of it. Let's play. Hello, do you want to play? What is that thing? Um, we just went over this. It's Sonic. Why are you leaving? We were about to play. We're not going to play with you. We're? There's only... Who? I don't know who's talking. Am I talking? Is the computer talking? I thought you were a Sonic fan. You are spelled wrong. Or wrong your, rather. Now it's... I oh, yeah, but this is getting creepy. I'm not going to play with you. Really? Dude, you made you, you put the game together. You could have at least put the effort in to spell you. I mean, I I I can sort of live with not capitalizing I and I'm, even though it, it's kind of annoying. But seriously, you couldn't be bothered to write two extra letters in that dialogue. That's just that's sad. Also, I again, I don't know who's talking. Your name, what should we do? Wow. <laughs> so you didn't bother inputting the name so it would actually say your name? You didn't program it correctly? It's not that difficult. Let's just click things. You're too slow. Too. Really, again, couldn't put the effort in to write T-O? I, I guess you used all your effort in the beginning of the game? Because it's starting to get incredibly lazy, like you didn't give a crap anymore. And also, let's point out, this is version 2 of the game. So, there was something updated about this game. And there's also a second game. Alright, run. I guess I clicked the wrong, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I know that's gonna kill me, so let's save it. Hello? I want you to have this doll. Check it in your key items. Oh. Gee, I wonder what it is. Oh, look, it's a Tails doll. Creepy doll from Sonic R. Can you tell the sunshine? Can you fell the sunshine? I can't sell it at all, I'm sorry. Oh, look at the treasure chest. It's not suspicious. Found a picture. I'll grab another damn very alive picture, I guess. Wait, it's already night? My mom should be back by now. You can't run. Once you play, you must play. If we can play, we well. We told you that we don't want to play. We well, we couldn't have possibly don't. Fan or not. I'll go away for now, but the next time we meet, it will be the last of you. I got a text from Mom. She said she's coming back in a minute. It was nice to meet you, your name. I'll see you tomorrow. There's effort put into portion, small portions of this, and then zero effort put into other portions of it. Like your, your dumb number. 
just lazy, lazy word typing. This volume is ridiculously high. But, you know, the lazy typing, and, but some of it's fine. I don't think it's bad. New item added. That looks like a lever. Oh, I got YouTube. This YouTube has unknown, po unknown powers of creepy videos. It has the ability to turn a person into insanity. It also makes victims die. It is one of the strongest creepy pauses of all time. Okay. Little YouTube, so evil. Oh, really? Ah, oh, boy, I'm like saving every damn screen because this is so ridiculous. Well, let's talk to the non-weird thing. This is the part one. I'm sorry, I have the demo. RPG Maker VX8. Wow, this guy is weird. Why is he in this game? In the demo, I can only make 20 maps. This is the end. Don't worry, part two is coming soon. Don't worry, you could find Easter eggs now. I'll, I'm going to give you an Easter egg. But you need to find the first three or not, it will be a big spoiler. <sighs> wow. Yeah, he used the demo version and he didn't know what he was doing. Hey, are you scared of the Tales doll? No. Oh, good, I can game over even though. Oh, boy. This is... This is something else. Alright, yes. Oh, well. Okay. That was simple enough. Hey, I'm Sonic. Do you know that the person in your friend's house was my rival Sonic EXE? If you give me the doll, then I will show it to you. Um, what? I feel like this is a mistake, but who, who cares? Oops. Damn it, why does it port, port you up there? Oh, damn it, cold. And? Like, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, like every time you do it, it does not work. You still have it. Hey, I gave you the doll at your friend's house. I see you want to see the picture of the buried alive you got. Give the doll to me and I will show it. Don't worry, I will give it back. Okay, so yeah. Now I have Sonic EXE for some reason. Um... <laughs> like, what? None of this makes any sense. Okay, let's... This is gonna go anywhere, is this now? Locked! I just saw it open. It's not locked, it just opened. Oh boy. Oh my god, really? That bugged it up? <laughs> oh wow, that's... That door wasn't programmed for you to actually go back in and then come back out, was it? Wonder if this triggers the guy in the other screen. Nope. <laughs> totally bugged up the game. <laughs> oh well.